Well, we, I mean, look, these guys that actually it's a good thing for the guys that set up and get us ready for the weekend. It just goes to show how good they are. I mean, it's, it's a tremendous transition when you have everything planned and already situated to be in one city, but for us to come out and it looks seamless, um, I think it's huge for us. And, you know, obviously respecting what's going on in South Carolina, realizing that people are not really thinking about SEC Nation right now. They're trying to put the pieces of their lives back together. So I thought it was a good move by us. I thought it was a good move by the university to move the game. And, um, you know, so thoughts and prayers to them, absolutely. And being from Louisiana, remembering what happened during Katrina, it brings back a lot of those thoughts. And you, you just you hope that they can start to rebuild and, and recapture what, what a great state it is. Is that where you think Tennessee's team is, especially kind of stopping through the run game this weekend? Well, I mean, you know, it doesn't look good when I saw them against Arkansas, obviously, and, and I think sometimes uh, that can be a little skewed when you talk about matchups. Arkansas has had a lot of success against a lot of teams being able to run the football. And I think what happened last week is they showed if you can stifle the run game to a certain extent against Georgia, it, it becomes really tough for him to try to generate points, and that should be the main focus. If I was the defensive coordinator, I would have Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle circle and saying, guys, if we can control this facet of the game up front, then we, we give ourselves the best chance to win. And, and you also defend against that by letting Jalen Hurd and Kamara be able to run the football also. So, you know, I think from the standpoint of, do they have the guys? Absolutely. Um, now you tailor the scheme in order to stop Georgia from having a bunch of success in the